For Houdini, I'm Lisa Birnbach. Look, we've all been there, under pressure to complete an assignment at work, and suddenly we're just stuck, literally can't think straight. How do you de-stress in that situation? Yolanda Kavaness, a lifestyle editor who writes for a variety of magazines, has some advice for all of us who get stressed out under pressure all the time. Thank you for being here, Yolanda. How do people keep clear-headed when they're stressed out? It's very difficult. The problem is, though, we keep telling ourselves, I need to focus, I need to focus, and that stress only makes you less focused. Right. So it's a vicious cycle once again. You know, the brain is sending you signals when you're stressed out to defend yourself. It's a fight or flight mechanism. And when you're trying to think, if you're on deadline, you're not helping yourself by getting all stressed out again. So it's important to remember that stress can be good, but when you need to focus, you've got to step away, recharge, get some downtime so that your brain can actually do what you want it to do. How do you do that if you're in a situation that's stressful? For example, a doctor's office. Mm -hmm. I notice when I'm uh, expecting bad news or even unfortunately getting not such good news that my listening isn't even that good. You panic, you panic. There are a few exercises that I like to do actually. If you're really feeling the stress come on, and it's very good to be aware of that, if you're really feeling it come on, step away, get a, even if you just step away for two seconds and get like a glass of water, that can help you to sort of recharge and regroup yourself. It also helps, I think, to just focus something on something entirely different. It could be something you find on your desk, it could be something you find in that doctor's office, and think about that thing. Um, sometimes you're in an office and there's magazines, of course. Think about that baby on the cover of the magazine. Think about that woman in the magazine who is, you know, running through the fields. Imagine your own self running through the meadow, and that can help to bring your stress level down a bit. In terms of problem solving in your head mm -hmm. at the moment of stress. Mm -hmm. You're arguing with someone, you're in a car accident or you know, you're know you swerving or something. How do you recommend that we do that? You really cannot do yourself any justice by staying wrapped up in the moment. A lot of times people think, I can't step away, I can't take a break because this is going on right now. I have to solve it, this is going on right now. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. right. Kill me. You know what you do? <laughs> no. You do step away. It can be for five minutes, you go in your car, you can go in your car, you have car accident, you exchange information, you can go in your car and you can say, affirmation self, I'm feeling the tension come out of my body. Affirmations really help. You can just get yourself a breath of fresh air. You can just turn away from the environment for one second and deal with the problem at hand. You're, you're really wasting time. You're spinning your wheels yeah. when all the stress is making you not focus and come up with a game plan. You're spinning your wheels to make yourself stay there and come up with a game plan. And then you feel badly about yourself and that adds more stress, right? Because you're saying, what's wrong with me? And it focus, happens focus, to focus, everybody. Focus. It happens to everybody. And you can't focus when you're charging your brain to be in stress mode. You can't focus. Now, um, what does it say about somebody who sort of functions in a stress mode all the time? Well, you know what, people who do that, and it's, it's deceiving because we all think that the grass is green on the other side. We always think, well, that person comes up with such great ideas, or that person's, and what happens is that person's brain is just as good as your brain, but that person's able to tell themselves that this is a process. One, oftentimes when we're unfocused and we're trying to come up with something, everything we think we come up with is terrible and we get a defeatist type attitude. What clever people do, or people who don't let that happen do, is tell themselves that A, failure is not an option, so they're going to come up with something. Remind yourself of your successes. Tell yourself that you can do this, that you will do this. Failure is not an option. If you come up with something that doesn't fly, it's not a great idea, that's okay. You don't have to feel like, oh, I'm a loser now I'll never get that promotion, or now the boss will never recognize my idea. People who think creatively and think cleverly, that's just a test run for them. They came up with something that didn't fly, back to the drawing board. You have to be able to, you know, be somewhat resilient to the stress mode. And you always can, worst comes to worst, remember that you did pass finals. That's right. Once upon a time. Once upon a time, you got through that. It's not going to fail you again. Right. Thank you, Yolanda. <laughs> I'm Lisa Birnbach for Houdini.